Beatrice asks, how do I protect myself from online scams and phishing? Now, it'll usually look something like this. First and foremost, stop and think. Do not react to the urgency of the message. They usually use a whole lot of exclamation marks and, and try to trigger that fear so that you jump to do the thing that they want you to do. And in fact, the more exclamation marks they use, the more likely it's fishy. You wanna look for typos also, because spammers, for whatever reason, are usually really bad at spelling and grammar. And if they're asking you to call a phone number, you wanna copy and paste that phone number into a Google search, because if other people are getting that same spam or scam thing going on, then they'll have reports online that are linked to that phone number. Or if it's a spam or, or scam type message that comes from like Apple or your bank or something like that, uh, use the actual phone number that you know from apple.com or yourbank.com. Don't use the one that's in the message that you get. You also want to hover your mouse over the web link that they send you or that comes up in the message because uh, usually spammers will use some weird website address format, not the ones that you're used to, which is just like apple.com or yourbank.com. Lastly, you can totally just take a picture of the message with your iPhone and send it to your computer guy and they can tell you if it's fishy or not. If you want someone awesome and totally not condescending to come to you and take all of your technology challenges off your mind, head to macandhome.com because you've got way better things to do with your time. Spammers, for whatever reason, are usually really bad at spelling and grammar. So run it through a spell checker. That didn't make sense. Nobody would do that. Yeah, <laughs> Why would anybody <clears throat> like use your brain?